Hello, this is Joy Morin from the Color in My Piano blog. Today I wanted to show you an app that's called Good Notes, uh, which looks like that, that I've been using in my piano teaching lately. This is the home screen. You can see some notebooks that I've already uploaded here. Um, these notebooks can contain JPEG files or PDFs. Um, to add a new notebook, you hit this little plus button in the corner. You can choose to use the templates that comes with Good Notes. So I can either click up here to do a notebook or this bottom part of the button says select template. And they give you some options for just plain paper, ruled paper, there's like graph paper, there's also music paper, either um, vertical or landscape. So I could create a notebook this way. And there it is. Touch it to open it. And um, there are very small lines on here for staff paper. Um, so those are kind of the default pages. Um, you can also upload anything that you like using a variety of surface services such as Google Drive or Dropbox or if you have the images in your photo section on your iPad you can upload them that way. So I've put some documents in Google Drive already on my computer that I'm going to open up. So I'm going to click on um, this blank staff which is something from Wendy's website at pianoescapades.blogspot.com and it's created this notebook here. So this is some staff paper that she created. Um, <clears throat> once it's uploaded here in the notebook then you can use the pen tool. Um, there's a variety of colors. They give you some presets here to choose from and some thicknesses. Um, then you can draw on it. If you want thicker, the, the custom side over here, you can, you can get quite a bit thicker with your pen if you like. And then um, to erase, there's three different options. You can use the undo button up here to undo the last stroke that you made. You can also use the eraser tool and then just erase whatever sections you would like. Or you can also, if you're, if you're done with the page and you want to clear the whole page, you can clear the page right here page. Okay, um, suppose I wanted to add another page to this notebook, then um, I can use the little plus button over here and I can um, go to import. I'm going to import a page um, after this page, so I'm going to put import below. And then I, once again I can go to um, Dropbox or whatever, I'm going to go to Google Drive. And there is a circle of fist file um, that I downloaded from Anne Crosby's site. And so there it is. Um, this is another one where you, you draw on it and you fill in the key signatures. Now this is all in the same notebook, so if I want to go back to the previous page, you can swipe with two fingers to go back. And I, once again, I can clear this page if I'm done with it. Alright, I'm going to put one more file in. And I'm going to put this one in front of this page. This is a page downloaded from Susan Parody, um, susanparody.com. This is a nice matching worksheet for younger students. So now um, I've created a notebook with three different files that I wanted. Um, and I can scroll between them. Um, I can go back to my other notebooks back here and um, this is the notebook I just created and right now the notebook is called Blank Staff because that was the first page that I uploaded but I can change the name by going to edit in the corner um, and then clicking on that title and then I can call it whatever whatever I want. Um, in the edit mode you can also move these notebooks around in any order that you would like And you can also delete a notebook if you if you need to by first selecting it so it's got the check mark and then you can hit delete. Now I'm gonna hit done. One of the nice things about GoodNotes that I really like is the fact that you can upload PDFs. Many of the um, annotation apps do not let you do PDFs, and PDFs are great because they can be a multi-page document that you can upload all at one time. And GoodNotes knows what to do with a multi-page document. Um, so that um, saves you some time. 
So um, I've already got a multi-page PDF here. This is the Music Discoveries. It's a piano method written by Anne Crosby. And um, I'm going to upload, she has a black and white version as well, which I thought would be convenient to print from. So I'm going to upload that and you can see how it works. So there's the black and white version. And there it is, there's the PDF. Once again, you can scroll through. Um, in any of these files, you can um, export or you can print um, either before or after you've annotated it. So right here, export or print, just the current page, all pages, whatever. Um, so if I wanted to print off this worksheet or something for a student at home, I could quickly hit print cur current page and send it home with the student. Or if I just wanted to save a digital version of the completed worksheet, then I could hit um, uh, export current page and then it would let me save it as some kind of file. So that is a quick overview of the GoodNotes app. There are some other fun little features that you can take a look at. I, I should show you too that this little grid button is sort of like a table of contents so that you could quickly go to any page that you might want to within a PDF such as this one. Um, but there's some other things too. There's an edit button here. You can move pages around inside of your um, notebook. Um, so yeah, so this is the GoodNotes app. Um, hope you enjoyed my little video tutorial. Thanks.